What's up guys, my name is Joe and in today's episode I'm gonna put every item on the apple.com Apple store that I can find into a bag and see what it costs. I did this two years ago in 2017 where it totaled up to $45,000. I did this last year when it totaled up to $62,000. Now, even though the Mac Pro is not out yet and we didn't get a new MacBook Pro, I'm still wondering how much did Apple's prices increase? My rules are I put one item into the bag from every size. So MacBook Pro 13 inch and a 15 inch goes in there. Uh, also with iPads, also with iPhones, and I put every color in there. No accessories, um, only like Final Cut and, and maybe some, I don't know if, if uh, the HomePod is an accessory, but I will put that in there as well. So we start off with the MacBook Air. That's our first laptop that we can find over here. We go over here to buy, and we see there's one in or one size, which is 13 inch, and I put the maxed out version in there and I max out everything. So let's get it nice and beefy. That's 16 gigabytes of DDR, one terabyte for storage for 400 bucks, $1,899 right into the back. Okay, on to the MacBook Pro. Now there are two sizes of the MacBook Pro. There's a 13 inch and a 15 inch. I'm gonna start with the 13 inch version. As you can see, 2.4 gigahertz version, I select it and I beef it out to the max, which is, there you go, two terabytes of storage, and I put Final Cut, and I put Logic Pro. It's $3,598, add to bag. You need Final Cut, you need Logic Pro, of course. Now I go back, and MacBook Pro, and we go for the 15 inch version as well. Okay, 15 inch version, it starts at 2,799 bucks, and we beef it up $200 extra, $400 extra, $350 extra for Radeon Pro Vega 20. And 4 terabytes of storage for $1,400. Um, we don't need Final Cut for this because we already pre-installed on the previous one. So we're going to have it for every device that we get over here. Now, that's done. We go over to the iMac. The design has not been updated for a while, but still it's a very, very nice computer. So there's a 21.5 inch and a 27 inch. We start with the 21.5 inch version and we put it to the max. Okay, there you go. There you go. 350, 500 for a terabyte SSD storage. And we get the magic mouse and trackpad and we don't need Final Cut. That's $3,278. We add that to the bag. Now, if you want to purchase everything, you can use your Apple card and then you get 3% off of the final or the total price. But we're not using the Apple card right now. 27 inch starts at $2,299. And we put 400, 1,000, 450, 700, and 129. That's $4,978. Let's get that into the bag as well. All right, we've done with the iMac. Now we go to the iMac Pro. This is a more expensive product over here. There's only one version of this, but we can configure it. It starts at $5,000, guys, $5,000. Okay, if we want, we can put a 2.3 gigahertz 18 core Intel Xeon W processor with turbo boost up to 4.3 gigahertz for $2,400. Wow, 250 gigabytes of memory for $5,200. Uh, video card storage. And that's, oh, if you wanna buy the max out version of the iMac Pro and get a face amount, then it's $14,700 and $27, whew, that is serious money, guys. That's freaking serious. So Mac Pro, not available now, and we don't even have the old Mac Pro. So it's coming this fall, and maybe it's coming in November, so we'll have to wait and see. I'll probably do another video with that in mind. Mac Mini, that is our next product. 
There you go. We start off with $1,100 plus 200 plus 1,000 plus 800 plus 100. $3,200 $1, or 199 to be precise, but still it's a lot of money. And we're only at the Mac tab. Okay, and we can't buy the Pro Display XDR because we can't, it's not available right now. So we have to go to the iPad. Now we start off with the iPad Pro. It hasn't been updated in 2019. We were hoping for it, but uh, I guess it's a very strong and efficient little um, iPad. One terabyte and Wi-Fi plus cellular. It's $1,499 if you want to buy the maxed out version of the 11 inch iPad Pro. No engraving, thank you. And we add to bag. Now I go again, iPad Pro, and I buy the bigger version, which is the 12.9 inch version. 12.9 inch version, space gray, one terabyte, and Wi Fi plus cellular. And I continue, that's $1,699. Now what I said, we need a color of both, so I'm just gonna go and add this to the bag. And I'm gonna go review the bag. Because this and the previous version, we need two. That'll compensate for the two colors. Fantastic, we're gonna check out the total price a little bit later. Now we go over to the iPad Air. I go by, and there are three colors over here. We're just gonna choose the space gray, 256, Wi-Fi plus cellular, $779. And we go add to bag. Compared to an iMac Pro, this is nothing. I go review bag, and I'm gonna change the quantity to three because I'm getting three colors. So that's $2,337 if you wanna buy all the colors from the iPads or iPad Airs. Now we go to the iPad, which was refreshed and launched September 30th in 2019. Three colors over here too. The max is 128 and Wi-Fi plus cellular. That's 559. I go continue, and I go add to bag, and I'm gonna change the quantity to three. That makes it $1,677 for all three models. Now we go to the iPad mini, which is fairly new. I don't know who uses an iPad mini, but um, there still are people who love it. Three models. 256 and Wi-Fi slide cellular at $679. Continue. Still rocks the old design iPad 3, I guess. That was the first one with uh, Touch ID, I think. We're going to get the Apple Pencil 2 in a moment. Don't worry. And three different colors. Now if I go over to iPad and we buy an Apple Pencil. I go over here to buy. Now we need a second generation pencil for the 12.9 inch and 11 inch iPad Pro. And I go add to bag, that's $129 for a pencil. It's a very, very expensive pencil. And since I have four colors, I need or four iPads, I need four of these pencils as well. Great, that's $516 so far. And we're gonna get the first generation Apple Pencil. We have 25 items in the bag so far. Now, let me do some quick math over here. So we have the iPad Air, the iPad, and the iPad Mini, and both in three versions. So that is nine first generation pencils I go nine pencils. That's eight hundred and ninety-one dollars. Poof. And we are done. AirPods later. Now, 
iPhones. This is where it gets exciting. Actually, the, the most expensive part was actually the Mac, but, um, but we can beef it up here too. I'm gonna go and buy the iPhone 11 Pro and I don't have anything to trade in. I go for the smaller version and there are four, four colors and unlocked. There you go, that's $1,349 add to bag. And we're gonna have four of these. It's over $5,000, guys. $5,000. Review bag, and we change the quantity. Ooh, I can only get two. Oh. Apple, you sneaky bastard. Of course, because iPhones, you can only get two per model. I guess. Doesn't make any sense because I could put more in here if I wanted to. 36 items in the bag so far. And I go buy. Let's go iPhone 11 Pro again. Midnight green, let's say. 256. Unlocked. And add to bag. And I'm going to go review the bag. And we're going to change the quantity. The maximum of two iPhone 11 Pro can be purchased per customer. Please adjust the total quantity. Do, 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 do. Uh, I can't buy more iPhone Pros. I'm just going to have to remove this, change this quantity to one, and I'm going to have to buy the iPhone 11 Pro Max, just one piece, because Apple doesn't allow you to buy more than two iPhones or iPhone 11 Pros at a time. It's very, very interesting. Nope. I'm going to go Pro Max. Let's go with the Midnight Green then. 512 gigabytes unlocked. $1,449. Add to bag. Talk about $1,000 phones. This is already $1,449. But in some countries around the world, it's a lot more than that. Now, we are in iPhone world. Let's go over to iPhone 11. I wonder if they let us buy more iPhone 11s. Or will they just let us buy one iPhone 11 or no iPhone 11? So there's six. I'm going to go with the product red. 256 unlocked. And add to bag. Very nice. $849 times six because we have six different colors. And you can't do that. You can only get two. So I'm just gonna max out on two. And that's it. I wonder if I can buy more colors from the iPhone XR. This is very interesting. Apple is limiting the amount of money they want to make. So there are six colors over here too. 128 is the max. It's 649. And I'm gonna go add to bag. I really hope that I don't run out of space in my bag. Review bag. And yes, I can get six colors of this. Fantastic. That makes it a total of $3,894. And we still have the iPhone 8 to get. And there are two sizes of that, so we're going to get the smaller and the larger version. All right, I don't have an iPhone to trade in. I'm going to get the iPhone 8, three different colors. 128 is the max, 499. And we're going to add to bag, and that will make it $1,500. $1,497 in total if I choose three different colors. What I just remembered is you can get the MacBooks in different colors as well. All right, so that's three different colors. So I'm going to have to go back and change the quantity of the Macs. Or the MacBooks, to be precise, and the iMacs and the iMac Pros. Now I don't have anything to trade in. I have the iPhone 8 Plus, Space Gray, 128. 
unlock some free or sim free 599 for the plus version you can do nice uh, portrait photos with those I'm gonna go review bag and we're gonna make the quantity three pieces if we can of course we can that makes a grand total of $1,797. Now we ran out of iPhones, but we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna get the AirPods and we have the new AirPods Pro. So let's start with the AirPods Pro. It's $249, just gonna add it to the bag. And we're gonna get the standard AirPods as well. And I go over here to AirPods. And I'm just going to go buy. And we're going to get the one with the wireless charging case. I know, I know it's not all the versions. But I don't think $150 is going to make a big difference with the grand total of things. Actually, no, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go over to TV. I'm going to get the new... TV, Apple TV 4K. Let's buy. I could also subscribe to everything, but I don't think a couple of dollars makes any difference. 199 for the Apple TV 4K. I'm presuming it's 149 for the standard HD version. So we're going to go to TV, Apple TV HD. It's 149, as I said. And add to bag 32 gigabytes of space more than enough for your Apple TV fantastic now a very weird thing is Apple still sells their sells their iPod touch but before we go there we're just gonna go to the home pod and we're gonna go buy and there's two colors great so that's gonna be five hundred and ninety eight dollars Altogether, I'm just gonna go review the bag. And they're trying to sell us a couple of things over here as well. But as I said, no accessories. It's two. Fantastic. Now with the iPod Touch, if you want this iPhone 5 era iPod Touch, six different colors, great. 256, it's from $399. Whoa, you're better off if you buy an iPhone 8. You really are, it's $100 more and you get so much more out of that. Wireless charging and all that. But anyway, we're just gonna buy everything. We're gonna see how much money we can actually spend in the Apple Store. So that's six different colors. There you go. Now let's go back to the Macs and check. The MacBook Air has two colors, I believe, or three, maybe space gray. Yeah, it has three colors. So I need to go to my bag and modify my MacBook Air to three items oh it's a very long list I'll try not to spoil the end but I just did doesn't really matter so we go three now the MacBook Pro comes in two colors and so does the 15 inch version come in two colors iMac is one color iMac Pro is one color Mac mini I just think about it if you put the Pro Display XDR in there, that's $5,000 more. And then you have the Mac Pro. Yeah, this is just one color. And then you have the Mac Pro. That could be, that's crazy. That's crazy territory. I guess that's, it could end up around $50,000 if you want the maxed out version. Let's go over to support. Is there anything over here in support? Or actually, no, if I go over to Mac and I go to accessories, I said no accessories, but you need some stuff. Like a monitor, like an eGPU, 
We have the trackpad, we have the mouse. I guess we should get a monitor for our Macs, right? So we have the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and we have four and six, that's 10. So let's get 10 LG Ultrafine 4K displays. Because why not? Right? It's gonna boost us up to $6,999.95. I guess. No. Six thousand dollars nine 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 and fifty cents. Cool. Now, since our MacBook Airs are not that powerful, let's get them an eGPU and the MacBook Pros as well. So we're going for ten eGPUs as well. Blackmagic eGPU sounds very very promising. Now let's get ten of these as well. Quantity is 10, and that boosts us up to 11,000, almost $12,000. All right, guys, what did I forget? Because I forgot something. Yes, the Apple Watch. I got confused because I thought this was like a watch page for Apple TV, but no. So we have three different kinds of watches over here, or actually four. We have the Edition, we have the Apple Watch Hermes, we have the Nike and the standard Series 5, and we have a Series 3, so that's actually 6. But the Apple Watch Nike and the Series 5 is basically the same. Uh, um, but we're going to have to get all the colors. This is very complicated. I'm not going for the bands over here. I'm just going to buy the different kinds of finishes for the Apple Watches, all right? So Hermes, yeah, it's probably not going to work because it's basically a band, but I don't know, maybe we could throw that on there. So we have the stainless steel loop, the aluminum, and uh, that's it. Basically, the, the, the loops or the, the, the bands are the pricey ones. Let's go gold stainless steel over here. And, oh my God, there's so many choices for the Apple Watch. So we get the 44 millimeter for this one, but I'm actually, wait, wait, this is the maxed out version, right? Because this one comes with cellular, does it? GPS plus cellular, yeah, so this is the maxed out version. This is what I should get. This is $749. I don't care about the band. And we just need the color, the different kinds of colors it has. And let me just check what kind of colors it has. Uh, I go over here to Series 5 again, and I go over here to buy, and I just want to check out if there should be like a space gray, there should be a silver, and there should be a gold. I don't think there's anything else over here. Those are just the options for the bands. Yeah, you have the space gray, you have the gold stainless steel, well, actually, I'm gonna stainless steel, case black stainless steel yeah that's three different colors okay good cool yeah you can see over here then what i do is i go into my trusted little bag over here and i don't know if you guys have been counting how many times i've said bag in this video you can win something you can win something i don't know like a speaker why not oh i can get only two apple watches oh apple Anyway, then I'm going to go and buy the, the aluminium version as well. Because, Apple, I am going to do that. Because you cannot outsmart me. Maybe I can just buy two Apple Watches. Even from the Series 5, I can buy only two. That's very interesting if that's the situation, but we will see in a moment. I'm very sorry, but this takes a million years to load. Now, there's one. Oh, those are the bands. I think there's three or four colors of this. We got the 44 millimeter version of this as well. Uh, no, yeah, I get the 44 millimeter and the case. Uh, I can get the stainless steel, the titanium, and ceramic. Never mind, I'll get the titanium. Good. And for the band, I really don't care. Sport loop, perfect. 
I'm done. 44 millimeter version, I told you that before, 849. Oh, with the Apple Watch, it gets really complicated, but um, I'm just gonna boost the number of that in a moment once I'm finished with the addition. And the addition comes in titanium. I just got a titanium one, but I want the ceramic version as well, which is fantastic. There you go, ceramic. And there you go, $1,349, boom. And I think this only has one colors. Anyway, review the bag. I wanna add more from the titanium. I'll just add one more titanium. Addition, GPS, yeah, that's titanium. Okay, I can get two of this. And uh, why not? I couldn't get the aluminum version, so. I'm just gonna get two of, of everything over here. So that's it, guys. This is the grand total. Oh, maximum of two Apple Watch Series 5 can be added. So if I go one, one, and one, that's still not good, right? It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Apparently that's good. Even with the titanium version. Nope, not with the titanium version. Okay, so the titanium and the steel has to be one. Maybe I can get two of the ceramic. And then we can check that out. Nope, I cannot get two. I can get one, but I can't get two. But that's weird because that's three different versions. Anyway, guys, this is the end. Now, in my bag, I have an Apple Watch Edition GPS cellular 44 millimeter white ceramic case. Then I have the titanium case. Then I have the stainless steel case. I have a Blackmagic eGPU Pro for $11,990. I have an LG Ultrafine 4K display for $6,999.50. I have an iPod Touch, 256 gigabytes for $2,394. HomePod, two colors, 598. Apple TV HD, 149. Apple TV 4K, 64 gigabytes, 199. I have the AirPods with wireless charging case, that's 199. I have the AirPods Pro, um, that's 249. Then I have an iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, three colors, that's 1797. I have an iPhone 8, uh, yeah, that was the plus. This is the standard version, that's $1,497. Three different colors. I have an iPhone 10R, six different colors for $3,894. iPhone 11, 256 gigabytes. I could only buy two of these, so that's 1,698. iPhone 11 Pro Max. 50, uh, 212 gigabytes. I could only get one of this. That's $1,499. iPhone 11 Pro 250 or 212. No, I'm sorry. 512 gigabytes, which is $1,349. I have the Apple Pencil for all my iPads. That's nine Apple Pencils for $891. I have my Apple Pencil second generation for my iPad Pros. That is $516. I have my iPad mini three versions because it's three different colors. That's $2,037. My iPad, which is 10.2 inches and three different colors. That's $1,677. I have an iPad Air, that's 10.5 inches three different colors to $2,337. I have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, two different colors, that's $3,398. Um, one terabyte of space, oh my God. 11 inch iPad Pro, one terabyte of space, two different colors, $2,998. I have my Mac Mini, that's $3,199. I have my iMac Pro, one version, that's $14,648. I have a vase amount for that, which is uh, $79. That's nothing compared to everything else around here. 27 inch iMac with Retina 5K display, that's $4,978. Then I have a 21.5 inch iMac with Retina 4K display, that's $3,278. Also a 15 inch MacBook Pro, two because it's two colors. 
and that's $10,298. I have a 13-inch MacBook Pro, again, two colors, that's $7,197.96. Then I have a 13-inch MacBook Air 3, because it's three different colors, and that's five, $5,697. So altogether, my total is $100,000. $637.46. Holy macaroni. I'm not going to swear in this video, guys. This is amazing. This is the price of a house. This is the price of multiple very, very, very good cars. This, this is, wow. So you can choose, how should I check out? normally or with Apple Pay. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Oh my God, I wish, I really wish I could check out. Anyway, guys, so if you wanna spend 100 grand in the Apple store, you actually can. You can see how Apple pushes uh, the prices up every year. In 2017, we had $45,000. In 2018, we have $62,000. In 2019, we have $100,000. And we haven't even seen the Mac Pro and the Pro Display XDR, which could easily boost it up to $150,000. Insanity, guys. This is freaking insanity. Thank you very much for watching this video if you've stayed so long. Um, don't forget to plant some trees, team trees. Check the link down in the description below. Also, don't forget that there's an iPhone XS giveaway, which you can't even buy in the Apple Store anymore. So iPhone XS, you want it? Link down in the description below as well. Go and check out that video. Thank you very much for watching. 106.37.46 is the final number that came out in Apple.com this November. And once they update it with the new Mac Pro and Pro, Pro Display XDR, we'll check it out again. Thank you very much. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the like button. And until my next video, stay safe and hang loose. Yeah.